summing point is normally used for adding or subtracting the signal. So this one is any one signal let's say equals to x1s, this signal equals to x2s, this signal equals to x3s. Upon this signal whether you want to add it or you subtract it, you put up a sign here. So this summing point has three input and let's say the in output of this one is equal to y of s. Here we have a output there is no sign but input we have sign either all or plus or maybe plus minus anything is possible there it can be minus also even this sign can be minus also or even plus also it, that is provided to you a simple addition of all this term so that is this result is x1 is positive x2 is also positive but the sign of x3 is negative so at the most this summing point can accept three input input 1 input 2 input 3 but there is only one output output is always one input can be any number so this summing point has input equal to x1 this has a x2 and suppose this one is plus and this one is minus this one is result is y is equal to x1 plus minus x2 so it has minimum two inputs now and one output now this time the summing point has only one input so this equals to x1 or x and this sign is plus any addition is done here this value is same as y and is y is same as x so is for single input summing point is meaningless if you have a summing point more than three inputs so maximum blocks are three but we want to show more input so we can show like this there is no problem plus space sign here plus minus minus plus plus point can have any number of it this one is x1 this one is x2 this one is x3 x4 x5 x6 x7 so depending upon their side you can write your final answer so what is true about the summing point the summing point is only meaningful when it has more than one input either 2, either 3 or any number and the summing point just do the addition or subtraction of signals as per their respective signs. It has 3 input which I write the result as x1 plus x2 minus x3. To generate this result what I do is that I will split this summing point into two summing points and I will try to generate this result first. So to generate this result I will show this value equals to x1 value equals to x2 is what positive this sign is also positive so is this result is x1 plus x2 now i want to subtract x3 so i will subtract x3 result here is same as this one so can i successfully uh, break this into two parts or otherwise instead of carrying this sum in this fashion i will carry out this sum first that is x1 here and i will show x3 here you can show this on upside or downside it does not matter so the x1 is what sign plus sign x3 is what minus sign so what is the result here x1 minus x3 and now i want to add this quantity so i will add this quantity here equals to x2 my sign is plus is this result is same as this result so in know what order you are adding them it matters or it does not matter it does not matter but the only condition is that there should not be any block here you cannot introduce any block here if you are not introduce any block it means that this value equals to what one so you can very well split a three summing three input summing point into two summing point but in between the two summing point there should not be any block or there is a unity gain that will remain same now we have a situation of exchange of summing point let we have a situation here that this one is a summing point a and this one is summing point b so we have a x1 and x2 added we'll get x1 plus x2 and then finally we add x3 your answer will be equals to x1 plus x2 minus x3 now if i interchange the position of b here and i will make the second position of a here then I get my answer is x1 minus x3 and then I add x2 my answer will remain same. So can we interchange the position of A and B if we require in the problem. 
So we can very well interchange the position of A and B provided that should not be any block between them. That is a gain equals to what? Unity. If the gain equal to unity, we can very well exchange to get some series operation or parallel operation or some feedback operation. So we can very well split one summing point into two summing points. And if you have a two summing point like this and there is a no block in between them, you can very well exchange them so that you should get one series or parallel or feedback. So rule is one rule is there that the in between the two summing point, what is the gain? The gain must be equals to one. That is there should not be any block here which consists of either G or either H. That is not permitted. Then only the exchange is permitted. When you exchange the two summing point, there should not be any block between the two summing point. Then only the exchange is permitted. So you want to find out transfer function for this block system. Okay, check. Do you have any parallel system? There is one. Any series possible? Not possible. Any feedback possible? So this feedback is possible. But this feedback is possible only if, if we split this. Instead of one summing point, we will make it into two summing points. So splitting operation. Okay, instead of this one, we will make two summing points. So let's introduce two summing points first. So this is an extra summing point we are making. So this signal will go to this summing point, then goes to this summing point, and then goes to this summing point. This is always positive. Now you decide to get this operation equals to a feedback. I suppose that this should be inducted here. And this should be inducted here. Then will you get this one as a feedback operation? But if you do the wrong thing like this, that instead of this one, if you inducted here, and if you inducted somewhere here, you will again so which one is the better solution? First one is the better solution. So we have to place this at this point and we have to extend this. This is negative. So this is negative and this one is also negative. Now this is my final arrangement. Is this operation is a feedback operation? So this one is G1 upon 1 plus G1 H1. So this is a new block. Now, is this block and is this block in series operation? So this will also vanish. And this will be equals to what? G2. Now this one and this one, is it a feedback form? But is it a n by d form? So the answer will be equals to G1, G2 upon 1 plus G1, H1 divided by numerator upon denominator Sign of feedback is opposite. Numerator is G1, G2. Multiplied by feedback is H2. Then this part will vanish. Correct? Now this and this in series. So this will cancel out. So we left with what? G3. So this is the only block left now. Is it a numerator by denominator form? So numerator as it is. Denominator as it is. Numerator multiplied by feedback. Your answer is ready. First observe this figure and check do you have any series operation? Do you have any feedback operation? Yes. Where is feedback operation? Yes, this. That will be G4 upon G4. G4 upon 1 plus G4 X3. Okay. Now nothing has happened on this side. Now, is this operation can be possible as a feedback if, if I shift this takeoff point ahead of this? So when we shift the takeoff point ahead of this, we have to introduce the reciprocal of this on the feedback branch H1. So we'll perform these two operations. First is shifting and then one is feedback. So the result of this feedback is G4 divided by G upon 1 plus GH. So plus G4 into H3. Feedback we are shifting ahead. When we are shifting ahead, we will introduce reciprocal. So let's introduce here one block. One, it will come from G3. So let's show this in this version. First of all, we will perform this series operation. 
So if we perform this series operation, then these two blocks will vanish and you will get G2 multiplied by G3. So this is a new block for us. And these two blocks can also be multiplied. So instead of these two blocks, it will be multiplied this. So this one is H1 divided by G3. This one is what? Feedback operation. So everything inside this one will be eliminated. So let eliminate this, this and this one. So result of this one will be equals to G2, G3. G1 plus G2, G3, H2. So this is a new block for us. Ready? Cancel out. And now, is this two block is series block? So this will eliminate. And therefore, it will be equals to G1, G2, G3 upon this same block. Then this one and this one, they are in feedback form. Feedback form was written as numerator upon denominator plus numerator multiplied by feedback. Correct? So this one equals to, this one is numerator. This one is denominator. This is numerator. This one is denominator. Plus additional term will be equals to plus numerator. Numerator is G1, G2. So this is G1, G2, G3. And multiplied by this feedback. That is H1 divided by G3. So this G3 and this G3 will cancel out. So this will vanish. And now this is one block. Complete block. Now, is this two are in series? So, therefore, it will be G4, and this term will be further multiplied as. So, this one is H1, this is G4, this is in bracket, and this term will be into 1 upon. Is that, is that correct? And now, is this complete block, that is this block? And is this block that is G5? They are in the so this is your path. Okay, let's find out the transfer function for this block now. Now just imagine here there is nothing here. Is the gain equals to one? So very first thing is that we will not concentrate on this one. We'll try to split this signal here. So whatever the value come from this side, let's say this value equals to what x of s. So is this value will be equals to h2 into x of s. So is the value fed at this one is x of s, is it multiplied by h2 and is the same value continue here also and is this value is also equals to what h2 multiplied by x of s. So what I do in my next step, I will break this and I will start again one connection from this side and I will try to connect it. So if I try to connect that and if I take this one equal to one more signal, is this value still equal to x of s? So I will move to this side, I will introduce here one additional block and this value equals to h2, then is my original problem is intact. This, this block equals to h2x and is this block is also getting h2x. So that is the first modification you have to perform. So we will going to split this summing point because it has three input. We will make up two summing points with the gain equal to what? One. So let's split this and we have a two summing point like this. This one is also positive. Now suppose this H1 we will introduce in this branch. And this H2 in this branch. Do you get any operation? No. Now instead of this, we will alter the choice. That is this operation will perform here. And this will take here and now we will add here. Will it solve the purpose now? Does it solve the purpose? Yes. It will solve the purpose. Why? Because this one is what? Minus sign. So is this a feedback? And then we will think what will happen to that one. Now we can perform one operation here. And this operation will be a feedback operation. If we perform the feedback operation, then everything inside this block will vanish and we get a result for this one this is g2 upon 1 opposite of sine is feedback is plus is g upon 1 plus gh so this one is g2 is it multiplied by h2 so if you observe this block at this stage these two block can be become a series block 
if if I shift this takeoff ahead of G3. So if you shift it, you have to introduce what? A reciprocal of G3. In that case, this two will become series and then it will become feedback. So we will break this here and we will start from this point now. Okay. So let's start from this point. But you have to introduce one additional block equals to what? 1 by G3. Then become feedback. And these two are also in series. So we can now solve this problem. So first of all, these two are will be in series. So if these two are in series, this block will be G3 and this will be vanish. Now this is feedback. This one is numerator divided by denominator form. So we have already numerator written here and we have already denominator written here. Sign of feedback is what? Minus. So this one is plus upon numerator is G2 into G3 multiplied by feedback H1. So everything from this side will vanish. So, so in series. So this is H2 divided by G3. And we left with these two blocks now. So is the final answer will be numerator that is G1 and G2 G3 upon denominator is 1 plus G2 H2 plus G2 G3 H1 then sign is minus so this is complete denominator is n by d plus nh form so numerator is g1 so this one is plus g1 g2 g3 multiplied by this already cancel so this one is h2 divided by g3 and finally this g3 and this g3 is cancelled out so this one is your transfer Let's do that.